In this video, I'll show you how to fix your Sharp TV in case you're having those vertical lines appearing on your screen. So I'll show you many different solutions without opening the TV. Let's start with the easiest of them. Turn off your Sharp TV and unplug it from the power source. Pull the cable. Then during 30 seconds, I want you to find the power button under the TV or on the side and keep it pressed during 30 seconds. Then after the five minutes has passed, after five minutes uh, total of being unplugged, you're going to plug it back into a wall socket. Do not plug it into a power strip. Sometimes this is causing these lines. If this didn't solve your problem, what you can do is to go on the back of your Sharp TV unplug the HDMI cable. If you have another one laying around, replace it with that one because sometimes it's the cable, the problem, and plug it back into another HDMI port. So this one was plugged in HDMI number two. Now I'm plugging it in HDMI number three. Hopefully those lines will disappear by doing this. If not, what you can do is to unplug the cable and with your thumb, you're gonna press on the ports. With, on the HDMI ports. Keep press many times like this, apply some pressure, sometimes it get disconnected and this is a way to connect it them back. Then plug back and press very firmly with the cable. Another thing you can do is by tapping the back of the TV, those lines can disappear sometimes. So take a rag, a clean cloth and place it on the screen. This is just to hold the TV so it doesn't fall down and we don't scratch it. With your other hand, go on the back of the TV and you're gonna tap it at many places. Tap the whole surface, on the middle, on the corners, on the sides, on everywhere. Again, this is a way to reconnect things that get disconnected. Make sure that you hold the TV very well because we don't want it to fall on the ground. If nothing worked, you can always factory reset your TV. And to reset a sharp TV, you need to press the menu button on the remote control, then select initial setup, then select reset, and you need to confirm by clicking yes or okay. And sometimes they may ask you for a password, just put one, two, three, four, and it will work. This will delete all your apps, but again, if it can solve your problem, I think it's worth it. So thanks for watching. If you have another trick, please write it in the comments down below. Somebody will be very grateful to read it. If not, just leave a like, uh, subscribe to this channel, comment, tell me something, anything, I'll try to read it, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.